What's going on everyone? Austin John Plays here and today we're going to be talking about the version exclusive Pokemon between Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. As far as official information that we've received from the Pokemon company, there's there's just very very little on what's going on between a lot of sporadic pieces of data mining and some early information, we actually have a better picture on what's going on with the version differences here. First and foremost, you have your box legendaries. These are placeholders. It's not the real game. I don't even think this is the real album, the, the real cover art anymore. That was the, the teaser cover art. But yes, we know about the box legendaries that remains true from the original. Let me explain something about how this game works that you're gonna play through the game and you're gonna have access to the local Pokedex, 150 Pokemon. This is a concept that's a little foreign for some newer gamers if you started with Sun and Moon. And then after you complete that, you then get access to the national decks in which all of the Pokemon up until that point become accessible. What is that, like 493 Pokemon-ish? become available. BDSP does a few things different that you do have access to some other Pokemon early, namely the ones that were featured in Platinum and Platinum's local Pokedex, but not Diamond and Pearl's local Pokedex. This is all just very arbitrary information until you actually play the game. All you need to know is there's 150 Pokemon at the beginning and some are exclusive to each version and then it grows more and more and more and more. I'm also going to be covering a lot of data mine files and some of it is uh, right now interpretation of things and there's also contradicting information so a lot of this may be subject to change and I'm going to very clearly state when things are uncertain. So things should be taken with a grain of salt. This is just what we found from the data mine so far. If the final information is vastly different, there will be a card on screen. The title's gonna be updated. There's gonna be new links everywhere to the new video, fully refining everything. Once that information is fully out for the holiday season, but as it stands right now for, you know, the early gamers, the November gamers, this is what we have found so far. If there's slight changes, they're gonna be in a pinned comment down below. And I've actually made a handy chart to help explain all this. Fun fact, this used to be the uh, Pokemon Raid Den update Excel sheet that I have. All right, so in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, you're going to get access to the Skull Fossil, which you can then revive to make Kranidos and evolve that to Rampardos. In Pearl, you're gonna get access to the Shield Fossil, which you get Sheldon and which evolves to Bastia. I don't believe the revival process is version exclusive, meaning that if you were to obtain a skull fossil in Pearl, you would be able to get yourself a Kranidos in Pearl. Something else also a little strange, in Diamond, you can find Wild Silcoon and Beautyfly, and in Pearl, you can find Wild Cascoon and Dustox. If you're not familiar, Cascoon and Silcoon evolve from the same Pokemon based on what's called a, uh, a personality trait. And this is not the bold brash or anything else like that. It's a hidden trait that you can't see. So you just have to catch a bunch of them and then evolve them. And then eventually you're gonna get one Silcoon and you're gonna get one Cascoon. The difference is the location that you could first obtain this Pokemon, which is the forest where you have the escort mission with the lady with the Chansey. There are wild Silcoon and very rarely Beautifly, likewise Cascoon and Dustox. As per a data mine that has come out, we have learned that Mr. Mime and Pseudo Wudo are version exclusive. However, strangely enough, it doesn't say anything about Mime Jr. and Bonsley, so it may follow something similar to the idea of the wild Sukun and Beautyfly versus the wild Cascoon and Dustox. However, I think Mime Jr. and Mr. Mime are both Diamond, Bonsley and Pseudo Wudo are both Pearl. Dialga and Palkia being the box legendaries, obviously they're version exclusive. And although not officially mentioned, as well as the whole Mr. Mime Pseudo Wudo thing, it would appear as though Murkrow and Honchkrow are exclusive to Diamond, Mistrevious and Miss Magius are exclusive to Pearl, as they have been in the original games. And now we get on to some weird underground files. There's still a whole lot of questioning as far as how the underground system works and how the spawns work and everything else like that, but it looks like from the information that has been data mined so far, all of this is very unofficial. 
All of this is just sort of interpretation of the data mine, not legitimately like, oh, here's all the facts, done, easy. If there's updates to this, I am gonna be pinning it down in the, uh, the pinned comment down below. So if there's something there that I wrote, then it's correction of this. Also, keep in mind, we're still a week out from the game. I'm just helping you decide on which one you want to get. So all of this should be taken with a grain of salt. It looks like Scyther is exclusive to Pokemon Diamond and Pinsir is exclusive to Pearl. The metal coat is not exclusive to any game, so Scyther would have to be traded to one copy or the other to get uh, Scissor, obviously. It appears as though Gligar and its evolution are exclusive to Diamond. Teddy Ursa and Ursaring are exclusive to Pearl. And it looks like the Elekid line may be exclusive to Diamond and the Magby line may be exclusive to Pearl. This is just from the underground files. These Pokemon may exist in the overworld somewhere else and we just, I just haven't found it yet. So this might be a thing, this might not be a thing, but from what it looks like, these six Pokemon are version exclusive to underground spawns. They might be in the overworld, but in the underground, they're exclusive. And piggybacking off of that, there's Pokemon that supposedly open up after you obtain the national decks. And a really weird thing about that is that in Pokemon Pearl, it says that Houndour and Houndoom are version exclusive. However, it's been seen in, in actual video evidence that Houndoom is in the underground in Pokemon Diamond at a very early level, by the way. So maybe that was a 1.0 error. Don't have any video confirmation if that has changed in 1.1. I doubt that it has though. And looking at the underground files, it would appear as though Houndoom is a 100% spawn rate somewhere. Maybe this was originally planned to be that way, but because Diamond and Pearl have such a lack of fire types at the beginning, which is it's either your starter or Ponyta, and that's it. Maybe they decided to include the Houndoom here. Houndoom is also the only Pokemon on this list that I'm looking at that it has a 100% spawn rate in the underground. So maybe that was something that was just done to combat the fire type lacking issue. But getting on with the national decks, it says that in Diamond, you'll have access to Aaron, Laren, Agron, Larvitar, Pupitar, Tyranitar, Kecleon, Poochiana, Mightyana, Seal, and Dugong. In Pearl, You'll have the Slowpoke and the Branching Evolutions, the Bagon, Shogun, Salamance, Stantler, Houndoom and Houndour, supposedly, Sphilcelio and Walrin, Whalereen, whatever that is. All unofficial information, but has been listed in data mines. I have a lot more confidence in everything here, except for the Houndoom part, than I have here about this. Once you get access to Romanus Park, you're going to be getting access to a whole bunch of previous obtainable legendary Pokemon. In Diamond, you will have exclusive access to Mewtwo, Raikou, Entai, Suicune, and Ho-Oh. In Pearl, you have Rayquaza, Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres, and Lugia. This is as per the official website and text and trailers that we have seen. I don't think we have any data mining to back this up or contradict it, but it is official word, so I am going to take it for what it says. By the way, this is the data mine of all the cartridges that's used, and the reason I actually put this here is because I don't know if the cartridges are going, or uh, the slates, that's it. The slates are version exclusive. So in Diamond, you could get the slate for the dogs, right? But then can you trade the slate to Pearl and Pearl can access the dogs? This is unknown information at the time. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. So in summary, Diamond, you're gonna have Kranidos, Rampardos, Stunky, Skunk, Stunk Tank, Mr. Mime, and Dialga. Pearl. Sheldon Bastion, Glammeow, Perugly, Pseudowoodo, Palkia. Diamond, Murkrow and Honchkrow, Scyther, Pearl, Mistrevious, Mismagius, Pinsir. Diamond, Aaron, Laron, Agron, Larvitar, Pupitar, Tyranitar, Kecleon, Puchiana, Mightyana, Seal, Dugong, Pearl, Slowpoke, Slowbro, Slowking, Bagon, Shelgon, Salamance, Stantler, Houndoom, Houndour, Sfeel, Celio, Walrin, this one is unconfirmed at this time. Uh, one of my mods, her favorite Pokemon is Houndoom, so I'm telling you that Houndoom is available in Diamond. Don't know if that's a deal breaker. 
Uh, I love Salamance, but now knowing that it's only available after I obtain the national decks, that's not like the biggest priority in my mind. Because I was leaning Pearl anyways, I typically get both copies and then my first playthrough is uh, the, the opposite one that everyone else is playing, so I usually play Pearl, meanwhile most people play Diamond. And then Romanus Park, this might be the deal breaker for some people. Mewtwo, the dogs, Ho-Oh, Pearl, Rayquaza, the birds, Lugia. I like the birds more than I like the dogs. Rayquaza and Mewtwo, I like them equally. I like Lugia more than Ho-Oh. I know, hot take, it is what it is. This all the more solidifies the fact that I am already have my eyes set on. In fact, I'm gonna be getting the Australian copy of Pearl. I'm gonna be playing that 8 a.m. Thursday morning. I have a whole video on how to legally play Pokemon games early. If you haven't seen that, that's when I made it for Sword and Shield. Same concept still applies. And if uh, future Austin remembers, he's gonna link it down there. Great. Well guys, that's all the version exclusives for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. Did this influence your decision at all or do you not care? You're just gonna pick up both or you're just gonna get one and just kind of deal with it and trade back and forth. Leave a comment down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.